All right, we made it back to Sidonia. And let's see what we can do. Careful near the railings on the upper levels. It's a long way down. Yep, no doubt. Um, I can't remember what we're supposed to do. I think we're supposed to bring it back. Pay off option return data to Cambridge. Oh. I wonder why it matters if we return it to Cambridge. I mean, it seems to make more sense to give it to this guy. This guy, right? Is it this guy? No. Uh, 14. Yeah, I think it makes more sense to return it to Cambridge to do it than... Um, oops. Than doing the sneaky way of doing it. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, where's the guy? He's in the here. The Office of Governor of Earth would like to remind all Sidonian citizens to do their part... Alright, Cambridge. Hey. You've got the slate. Let me see. There you go. Reduce joint wear. Oh, increase lifting capacity. A dose of this stuff could make Obiner way more efficient. Yeah. This formula's got to be worth at least as much as whatever Percival owes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's what you do. Tell Octai and the Trade Authority you found a business proposal that will make miners more efficient, higher yield, synergy, you know, all that business crap. Okay. That you'll trade it to him for clearing Percival's debt. You good at doing pitches and stuff like that? Um... Okay, it's not my forte. <laughs> hmm. uh, well, <laughs> just try your best. Emphasize how much money there is to be made with that formula. Oh, and here, a copy of the formula for yourself, in case you ever want to try maximizing your own industrial output. Well, thank oh, you, Cambridge. Use that if you can. Good luck. All right, let's see if we can <laughs> figure out how to... Uh... Persuasion is not our forte, so we'll try it. Although I guess I could use that stuff. What is that stuff called again? Let's see. Let's uh, do that persuasion thingy. If I can figure out what it is. I'll have to get some clothes too. I think there's clothes, but I don't remember. With them. Oh, here it is. I got plenty. Let's do it. All right. And just in case, we're going to save. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Was there something else? Yes, I have something for you. I have a business proposal for you. A lucrative one. Hmm. I'm never one to turn away an opportunity. But I'd be curious what you think you've uncovered in the Martian market that others have missed. A chem... Let's do this one. A chem made from aqueous hematite. I call it pick-me-up. Aqueous hematite. Iron and waste water. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> I'm not surprised no one has proposed something like this before. <laughs> and exactly what does this new drug of yours do? Makes your miners more efficient. I got the data here to prove it. Hmm. An interesting proposal, if your data pans out. Mm -hmm. But where's this hematite coming from? The active mines would be too expensive to retool. The deep mines could be an option, but they're full of spacers. Or so I've heard. I've taken care of that all for you, and it won't cost you a credit to get started. 
<laughs> Those spacers are very, very dead. You're welcome. What if I told you I cleared those mines out for the price of nothing? Here, let's just, this, this one sounds better. I already cleared them out. Won't cost you a credit to get started. Well now, that is intriguing. A completely untapped resource pool. And the sort of utility every mining firm in Sidonia would be clamoring to get That's their hands That's right. On. We could contract out all the actual lab work. Bring on one of the hungrier mining concerns for materials. The licensing fees alone. And think what it would do for our image with the general populace. This mine reopened thanks to the Martian Trade Authority. Very interesting indeed. So, and what do you want for the rights to this drug? I want you to clear Percival's debt. Did I not have to use that thing for per <laughs> Jeez. It's the persuasion thing. Okay, I, I was assuming we had to do persuasion, and I wasted a whole drug because of this. Anyway, clear Percival's Dr. debt. Dr. Walker's debt? That's it? Consider it wiped. Yep. Well, it seems we have a deal then. And Not here, a, problem. a finder's fee from the authority. A perfectly reasonable amount for a discovery with this sort of potential. Wouldn't want you feeling short-changed down the road. Mm. We'll just be taking that slate before you have any second thoughts. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Captain. Mm, thank you. The city of Sidonia is proud to be a member right. of support for the United Colonies. Got 21 Seek credits. your local Marine recruiter if you wish to sign up for military service. All right, so let's go talk to the other guy. I heard they found another new freshwater deposit in one of the mines. It's all much better than paying those ridiculous import prices. You found fresh water? Oh, interesting. Anyway, so let's go talk to the other guy. So we can go find Percival. Yeah. Okay. Got a few credits out of the deal. 2100. Not that much, but that's alright. Hi, Lou. Once I was in a yeah. glacial cave, surrounded by creepy red eyes, kind of like this. <laughs> it turns out they were just glowing bug butts. <laughs> yeah, their eyes are kind of creepy red. <laughs> I took care... <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> I took care of Percival's debt for the to the Trade Authority, so... Did you now? Yes. Fine work. My end of the bargain, then, I suppose. Exactly. He's holed up in the old Red Devil's HQ. Where is that? The place that? was sealed up tight after the UC shuttered our unit. But we snuck him in the back entrance through the deep mines. Oh, God, don't He's go also back going to warn you about spaces down there. But it sounds like you might have already tossed those dregs. Yeah, the Pasky. And I'll let him know there's someone he owes one hell of a thank you on their way down. Oh, oh, okay. We did find that room. Um, so we have to go back. All right. Back and forth, back and forth. That's fine. We'll we'll do it. We'll go back there. Not a problem. All right. Here we go. This will be much easier. Okay, so it was down through... It was up through that area. Yep, okay. Oops. This is really uh, cool. All this structure. Must have taken ages to build it. Um, let's see, it's over here, I think. Yep. Here we go. Excuse me, Dr. Walker. Hello. Well, I guess we have some more traveling to do. 
Oh yeah, holy cow, this place is huge. Oh, I heard something weird. Gosh. Oh, wow. This is the old way. Look at this. It's a huge drill. No lasers. Hmm? Oh, I mean this thing? I have no idea. I don't know what you're looking at. Let's do that thing, huh? Boy, is he really living down here? doesn't match up with reality, time to evacuate because something's wrong. <gasps> oh, wow. All right, and we're going this way. Wow. Um, up, I think. Yep, up makes sense. This is a winding path of whatever. Jeez. Oh, is that my, oh, this must be the drill he means. Whoa. Oh. Oh, sure, we'll take it all. Time, I really have to pick a character that will take that. Can I take that? Oh no, I have to drill. Oh, All right. Oh, that's more of the stuff. Might as well drill when we're down here. Did you just walk in front of me, you idiot? I doubt you need to bring all of that. Well, you never know. Whoa. The guy's living here? Well, this must be the place. Yeah. Looks like there's a light in the door, too. How charming. <laughs> All right, let's wander around. <laughs> okay. Wow, I guess he doesn't go shopping much. Uh, okay, I guess we're heading up. I'm oh. assuming. Good lord. How does this guy get around? Come on, Barrett. here. Maybe. Not entirely sure. I can't believe this place is still running. Ah! Save before this place things go sideways. So you must be the one who got me out of the red with the trade authority. Can't say I don't appreciate it. I doubt you came all this way just to do me a favor. 
Oh, hello. Dr. Percival Walker? Now you want to explain to me why you're going around harassing the various old men by wiping away their hard-earned debts? Excuse me? <laughs> I'm here to make a delivery for an old colleague of yours, Hadrian Sinon. Adrian sent you? She's... did... did she look okay? Yeah, looked fine. No, oh, she's alive, but was injured trying to collect this delivery I've got for you, so take it. Sounds like Adrian. Watch that woman lose a digit trying to get a better tissue sample. What? You can reattach a finger, Percy. So what exactly did she have you bring me? Ooh, this is pretty cool. Um, xenobiologist. An anomalous uh, terramorph sample. Specimen was found on Tau Ceti 2. Tau Ceti? Yeah. That's a joke, right? Nope. There's no settlement old enough on Tau Ceti to have a terramorph. Wow. Well. Either someone's setting up the worst petting zoo in the universe, or if she made you come all the way for this. Let's get inside. I need to see these cells. Thanks. Jeez. Oh, come on, Barrett. Red Devil's Headquarters. Must be an easier way to get here. Neil City Hustler outfit. Huh, I'm gonna take that one. Helmet display with no helmet in it. That must be his helmet. Locker. Yeah. Comment. That's a book, I think. I think we got enough books. All right, Doctor Percival. I'm gonna Walker. ask you to not touch anything. Got oh. some projects in the works down here. I wasn't okay. expecting guests. Oh, and Lou mentioned how you took care of the dead. Can't say I'm thrilled the Trade Authority got their mitts on the research, but I guess that's the price you pay not to live in a cave the rest of your days. Alright. Individual is busy. Okay. Don't touch anything, but there's so many buttons. All queued up. Let's gaze into this abyss, shall we? Alright. Just get those cellular markers tagged. Wait. Where are the markers? This... This can't be right. This sample... It's... Londinian. I'll... Mm -hmm. I'll need to get this all in a slate. Adrian really gave you this sample. You're not lying to me? Mm, because no. if you told me this was a hoax, and it'd be the best damn fake I've ever seen, I'd be mad and very, very relieved. Well, it's not a fake. I collected it from the Terramorph myself. Can't just humor an old man, huh? Nope. This sample, it's got all the indicators of the worst Terramorph attack in human history. I presume you've heard of Londinian. I believe there was a journal article describing the terramorph attacks there. A real loss. That's putting it mildly. The swarms are so bad, they had to blow the spaceport and seal the place off from the galaxy at large. Not a lot of samples made it off the world from the time of the attack. But the ones that did, well, they look just like this one. I didn't detect any of the telltale signatures this specimen ever sat on a ship while it was alive, either. I don't think it was transported to Talzetti. This specimen, it grew there, faster than any Terramorph should. Which uh -huh. means, if we're about to start a new era in human Terramorph relations, where big, sudden Londinian-style attacks can happen outside Londinian, that's not gonna end well for humanity. Humanity has survived a lot, but this could be a bottleneck event for our species if we survive. <laughs> and the devastation to society, to knowledge, it would reduce civilization to shambles. So you lugged this bad omen all the way here. You want to tell me what your plans are for it now? Um... Okay, before we say anything, 
You said the Londinian attack was massive. Why has no one... Why has one odd terramorph... Why is one odd terramorph so scary? Because until now, the terramorphs that wiped out Londinian had the good sense to stay put. What happened there? It was a tragedy, but at least it was contained. So to find evidence for a similar attack on a different world, well, we don't have enough information to know precisely what this means, but I doubt it's good. So I'd love to know what it is you're planning from here. Mm, well, Hadrian's uh, orders are to take you and then the analysis back to Hadrian, and she should be waiting at the Sixth Circle. The Circle, huh? Mm-hmm. Could use a drink about now. Here, faster we take the lift to the surface. Not Thank supposed you. to use it, but given the circumstances, I'm inclined to just ask forgiveness. Let's get going. Yes. Thank you. All right. So we really can't touch anything down here? Uh, all right. Well, there's not much down here anyway, but... Where do you sleep, dude? I guess it's just uh, computers and whatnot. Anything of interest? Nope. Just a quick look you see and nothing. Hmm. Oh! Vanguard Space Tactics! I'm glad we went down here. Ship missiles permanently deal 5% more damage. Take Alrighty. a moment to go through your things and lighten the load. Stop. Just stop. We're fine. What's in here? It's so nosy. <laughs> Reliant medical uniform. I don't think we need that, but... Well, that must be what he's wearing, huh? I'm actually very curious where he sleeps. Uh, kind of messy. Good thing we were nosy because, um... Oh, garbage. We haven't found that little magazine. Okay. Well... Let's, uh, head on out. The UC I probably guess. wanted to forget all Spokane. about their role in Xeno warfare. Probably. Typical. Oh, there's where he sleeps. <laughs> Plenty of blankets. Old earth flip lighter. Personal groomer. Mm. Cookware. Or taking this guy, you don't need it. All right, let's head out, guys. Come on, boys. call my ship here. Alright, so... Oh, we're going this way. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't fast travel because I'm overweight. Ugh. Hello, Captain. Hello, Vasco. There, so... Our first son. No matter how many star systems I visit, Seoul always feels like home.
All right, talk to Adrian, and then we'll probably wrap it up a bit. Only 27 hours without incident. Loyalist, but I feel like I just Apparently there was an this. accident. What happened? All right, let's head downstairs. We go walk. God, look at you. You're an old man now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hassling yourself anymore, Major. <laughs> Our friend here showed me your sample. Suffice it to say. Not here. Let's talk somewhere more private. Lou said we could use the back. Here, personal. <laughs> All right, Adrian, what's up? Lou gave me the abridged version of what went down. Yeah, I can't thank you enough for taking care of all that. No worries. Makes two of us. I hope it ultimately didn't end up being too much trouble. I had a little bit more gunfire than I usually like on my delivery jobs, but nothing I couldn't manage. That's... well, that's certainly not what I was expecting you'd have to go through. But thank you. I'm just glad you both came through intact. So, were you two able to get that work up together? Got it right here. That sample? It's an exact match for the ones from Londinian. Londinian? That's exactly what I was afraid of. Not thrilled to be the bearer of that kind of news. That's for damn sure. So tell me you've got some kind of plan for that workup. Well, right now, we've got more questions than answers. So I've been trying to figure out what it's going to take to access our old Terramorph data. Good place to start. What'd you find? It's in the archives. The Armistice Archives? Doesn't that mean we'd be dealing with the Cabinet? And the Free Star Collective? And House Varun somehow? <laughs> Guess we can kiss that approach goodbye. I didn't think the Cabinet would be willing to hear us out either. But I called in some favors. They've agreed to hear us out on two conditions. One, they want to see this analysis you two have procured. And two, they want to discuss what happened on Tau Ceti. With both of us. Oh, okay. Okay, so what's the Armistice Archives, and what's it have to do with the Free Star Collective and the House Varun? Well, when the Colony War came to a close 19 years ago, with the signing of the Armistice, three factions were involved in the negotiations. The UC, Free Star, and House Varun. They made a lot of decisions about what sort of tactics should and shouldn't be permitted in future conflicts. All information related to the things they decided should be banned was locked away in the archives. Now, it's possible to get things out of there, but only with the agreement of members from all three factions. And as to what our research is doing in there, well, I'll get to that. Okay, and what's the cabinet? The cabinet's the UC's highest governing body. The president, top military brass, scientific and diplomatic division heads. Ew. Any major decision the UC makes goes through them. 
I see. They're the only real chance we've got of unlocking the archives. So without their blessing, we're flying blind. Okay, so, you know, this doesn't sound like any run-of-the-mill data you're after. So please explain. Of course. You deserve the full story. Percival and I, we're not just researchers. We were military scientists, ran a division of the UC together that deployed aliens on the battlefield as weapons. Place I was hiding out. That was our unit's home base. Uh. After some early fits and starts at other facilities, the place eventually became the heart of UC Xeno warfare. A practice that's been banned ever since the armistice went into effect almost 20 years ago. And the UC military cut us loose for what we'd done. You know, it doesn't it still doesn't exp it still doesn't explain what this terramorph data is doing in the archives. Well, it was during that assignment that the UC asked us to explore deploying terramorphs on the battlefield. The project never got off the ground, but the data our team gathered is now sitting in the archives along with all the other information banned after the colony war. Under the watchful eye of monitors from all the galactic factions still participating in regular politics. But if we can convince the cabinet to help us access that data, it'll give us the tools we need to decipher what exactly this sample might mean. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, how to prevent more attacks like the one that spawned it. Why wouldn't the cabinet agree to help? I mean, I hope they will, given the evidence we've acquired. But getting the Free Star Collective and House Varun on our side, that won't be easy. Right, okay. Since neither group is exactly on great terms with the UC at the moment, for various reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's going to mean negotiations and deals and plenty of diplomatic legwork to see this through. But I don't see a better option to solving what's going on here. So it's going to be up to us to get them on board. Right. All right. So why should I trust you with this data <laughs> based on your history, huh? And how do I know it's not dangerous? Because the Terramorph project was doomed from the start. Terramorphs are too mean, too smart, too hungry to be used in combat. Trust us. We tried. The data that's in the archives, it's historical write-ups, anatomical notation, food chain analyses. I doubt they would have even classified it if it didn't have a Xeno Warfare logo on it. You have my word. It's not a threat. All right, well, let's go talk to him. All right. I'm going to go get this work up into the cabinet's hands. I'll meet you out front of Mast in New Atlantis. Good luck. You two are going to need it. What, you're not gonna come with us? Write a star in my sky. Barrett, you're such a flirt. Alright. Might be time I uh, start working on some projects of my own. You do that, Cambridge. Okay, this is a good place to stop. Uh, that was pretty interesting. We'll continue with the uh, UC quest line uh, in our next video. Thanks for watching. Thanks. No. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.